Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. I am honored to open the international conference, the Jews of the Middle East in the shadows of the Holocaust. The conference is part of a long and fruitful cooperation between the International Institute of the Holocaust Research at Yad Vashem and the Documentation Center on North Africa, uh, African Jewry during World War II at the Ben Svi Institute. A year of preparation has come to an end, and being able to hold a conference on this topic is without a, without a doubt an achievement in it itself. The academic committee of the conference was aware of the importance of raising the profile of a topic which has not researched in the past, but has an essential in for understanding the whole situation of Jews in Muslim world, world during a crucial period of change. During the past decade, we have organized several conferences and workshops on Jews of North Africa, on North Africa during the war. The situation in this part of the Muslim world is much clearer because of the Vichy rule, the military operations of Tunisia, the military operation, the German presence in Libya, and the German occupation of Tunisia. This conference reflects the crossroad of a different development in research on Jews in Muslim countries, on relations between the Third Reich and the Muslim world, and the research regarding the Holocaust. We hope that this conference will be a starting point to advance the research of, on the subject. I would like to thank Professor Dan Mechman, the head of the International Institute of Holocaust Research, Dr. Yael Nidam Orieto from Yad Vashem, and the staff of Yad Vashem for their cooperation. I would like also to thank Professor Yal Gineu, the chairman of the Ben Svi Institute, and Mr. Yaakov Yaniv, President Svi, the director of, the ben, of Yad Ben Svi. This year, our center will celebrate a decade of activity. During those years, we organized events, collected, collected archival and private material, published research and studies, and more. The concept of the center was put into practice thanks to the support of the CLAIM conference, mainly Mr. Tzvin Bar and Mrs. Adina Shudlovsky. They understood the importance of the subject and had the faith in our ability to carry out the project, and I appreciate very much their generosity. I would like to welcome our guests and colleagues from abroad for their proposal, for their acceptance to be part of this conference. Thank you and welcome to Jerusalem. I am sure we have a very important and interesting day. It is my special pleasure to thank also my staff at the Documentation Center, Tamar Fuchs, Mara Vajivini, Ofer Barzelay, and William Mamar for their contribution to the organization of the conference. I know how difficult was the starting point and I am sure that various con the, the various concerns we had during these preparations. I am honored to thank with, I am honored to work with you and to be able to be part of the activity of our modest documentation center. And now for the greeting. I would like to invite first Professor Dan Mechman, head of the International Institute of Holocaust Research at Yad Vashem and from Bar Ilan University. Professor Mechman, please. Uh, good morning to all, to the participants, the organizers, and especially <coughs> the big audience that uh, came to listen to us. Uh, what is the territory to be covered by Holocaust research? In the beginning, uh, <coughs> in the 1940s and 1950s, the focus uh, was on the German perpetrators and, from another side, on the persecuted Jews. Then <coughs> uh, the several types of uh, bystanders, uh, not only uh, <coughs> German bystanders, but also in other countries and especially in the free, free uh, world were tackled. Uh, that included the Pope, the Allies, and uh, from the 1970s, especially in Western Europe also, the local societies. 
uh, afterwards we moved for, uh, further and to the uh, wanting to uh, know more about the reactions in more remote places and countries reaching even uh, Australia and New Zealand and so on. The Middle East is an important part of this uh, um, attempt to see the overall view of the relation to, the uh, reactions to uh, what happened in Europe and the involvement in it. Uh, the Middle East, of course, is of special interest, but until now, actually, the issue of the Yishuv and its reactions uh, and <coughs> to towards the Holocaust has been researched, and also, in especially recently, the issue of uh, the Mufti. Uh, in this conference, we want to tackle the Middle Eastern countries in a much broader uh, way, and uh, the countries themselves and the Jewish communities uh, in them, of course. Uh, as you have seen, uh, the program is packed is, uh, from early this morning and was even uh, hard to get into the city. I thought there was <coughs> so much traffic jam, I thought all people were coming to this conference, but apparently also there are some other things happening in Jerusalem today. <coughs> Anyhow, we start very early and the end is at the end of the, of the day, uh, just before sunset, so uh, we have a lot of uh, territory to cover. Uh, what we uh, have in mind is not only those countries, but also the issue of the periodization. Uh, too often in recent years the Holocaust is interpreted as <coughs> the period of the final solution, equating the Holocaust with the final solution with the murder. Uh, we, especially at Yad Vashem, but also uh, in a broader way here in the country, interpreted in a much broader way and <coughs> uh, equated with the uh, period of the Nazi regime from 1933 onwards till 1945, and uh, that is also uh, what we will see in this conference today. <coughs> and as uh, Professor Sadon already said, uh, this is part of the fruitful cooperation between Yad Vashem and <coughs> The and the Yad, and the Yad Ben Tzvi or the, the in Ben Tzvi Institute within Yad Ben Tzvi, and especially with the uh, documentation project of the Jews of North Africa, which is now expanding its territory also a little bit to the east to those countries which are not part of North Africa. So I wish ourselves a lot of success and a lot of discussions, and thank you all. Thank you, Professor Mehman. And now I have the pleasure to invite Mr. Yaakov Yaniv, the director of Yad Yitzhak Ben Tzvi. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, honorable guests, Good morning and welcome to uh, Yad Yitzhak Ben Tzvi, uh, the site of the first uh, official residence of Israel's presidents. <coughs> Allow me first of all to greet you with an uh, ancient Jewish uh, blessing in Hebrew, Bruchim Habaim, which means blessed are those who come under our roof. I would like to say a few uh, words about the hall or the wooden cabin in which uh, we are uh, right now. This simple and uh, modest cabin is in fact where Israel's second and third presidents uh, held all their beginning of every month. In Hebrew, we uh, call it Rosh Chodesh. The president used to invite uh, one specific Jewish community to present their tradition and heritage, including Jews from communities in the Middle East, the very communities which we will be discussing today. This is the first time, both in Israel and abroad, that scholars from all over the world have gathered to examine and address the issues of the direct and indirect influences of the Holocaust on Middle Eastern Jewry. In previous years, there has been a growing awareness of the importance of the issue and we are honored 
to host this discussion here at the Ben Zvi Institute, which President Ben Zvi uh, himself, our second president, established with the express purpose of dedicating an academic um, research to Jewish communities in the East. I hope, that, I hope that this conference will simulate interest in the stimulate interest in the subject and will be the first of many which will further awareness and interest in this uh, topic. This conference would not have been possible without uh, the long and fruitful cooperation between two colleagues, uh, between uh, Professor Chaim Saadon and uh, from Ben Svi Institute and uh, Professor Dan Michman from Yad Vashem. I hope, I hope you both will coming, will continue with your uh, important work in this field and also many, many thanks to Yad Vashem also for a long and uh, very fruitful uh, cooperation between the, between the two uh, institutes. I would like also to thank my colleagues uh, from Yad Ben Tzvi, Sarit, Yehudit, William, Ofer, Mara and Tamar that without their devoted work, this conference would not have been occurred. Last but not least, I would like to express my thanks to the generous and ongoing support of the Claims Conference. I hope you, all of us, will enjoy the conference. Thank you very much and good morning.